Oh, it's a Sunday, beautiful Sunday, sunny. I'm out in the Columbia River at uh, Vancouver Waterfront, Vancouver, Washington, USA. And it's supposed to be good wind today from like 12 to 16, maybe gusts. I've got my box of tricks here. I always carry this with me. It's got spare parts and all that. And I like, one of the things I like to be astute about, not loosey goosey, is things that are starting to wear or possibly you know, getting ready to break. And here's an example, a uh, battle stick. I try to keep a spare part on this, but uh, there it is. It's got some, I usually, when I see the first cracking in it, I, uh, I uh, you know, replace it. So ran to West Marine last night, right before they closed, they didn't have one in stock so I'm just gonna roll with it I've got a backup tiller that I keep it's not one of these you know telescoping units so I don't like it as much but anyway uh, everything else is in good shape yeah this is good I've got it you know it's shifting about 10 degrees it's going from a southwest to straight west and all of the north uh, Northwest, but not too bad. It's shifting. The wind's kind of trying to find its direction today. This is pretty good because I'm able to kind of do this fine line here, staying off the uh, shoreline on my river shore on my starboard side. I'm trying to get back more in the middle of the river. This gives me more latitude on my angles. So <laughs> I've just had a bunch of phone calls. I'm trying to, you know, sail you left alone and, uh, <clears throat> anyway uh, trying to you know solo this boat with this spinnaker up talk on the phone uh, trying to get an appointment uh, anyway this is nice it's turning out uh, a nice run I'm just getting enough I'm getting enough shifting and I'm having a problem Keeping that front edge from collapsing. But boy, once in a while I get a nice, beautiful, steady bit of volume that keeps. You know, the top of the spinnaker is twisted up there. I don't know how. I don't know why that is not rectifying itself up there. That should be a swivel up there. But anyway, it's just at the very top up there at the head. I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, it's really getting warm out here. It's, uh, it's supposed to be northwest today, and it's, it's west southwest shifting. So I'm, but I've got enough now that it's really flying well. really moving. I just took off about 10 minutes ago. I really took off. Nice pull. Steady and smooth. Really hustling along here.
those were just jet ski waves then. Other, other than that, it's flat water, which is really nice. I've got some good volume behind me. I don't know how much, probably, I'm thinking this might be six knots behind me, maybe. Maybe a little more. It should be enough to sail back upwind. And I'm gonna have the current with me. Right now I'm running upriver against the current. Doing really well. This has been nice. I've been on this run here for, hadn't had to change the pole for like 25 minutes in a river that's, uh, you know, it's a good, <clears throat> this is a, the Columbia is pretty wide down here at Vancouver. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's a nice piece of water, but to be able to <clears throat> get a lucky run like this, get the ships just right and not have to do the pole, it's just fantastic. It stayed just enough west-southwest that I haven't had to worry about the wind, you know, getting, uh, you know, on the rock side of my main. So yeah, this is the one here. Mount Hood's just starting to clear off a little bit in the distance. I-205 bridge is coming up point of Government Island there where the speedboat's about to cross. So I'm going to take this thing down. How you doing?
Well, I just got in and it was pretty great out there. It was um, a nice, you know, nice variation. It was not boring. It was uh, shifty and gusty, uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. Um, it was shifty and gusty, but still great. Not sure what it topped out at, but. boat's a little messy today. I was just, I was lucky to get out at all today. Uh, but did well. I, you know, I was, I was never really overpowered, but I did have to roll the jib up about like it is there. You know, I just, it keeps the front end stable. And then I just play the main. And it just helps me, you know, I'm solo and the water's still pretty cold out here. So, uh, there's a lot of dust blowing around right now. That kicks up after it's like over 25, so. Anyway, it was, it was, this does not look like good conditions, but it was earlier.